What's up guys? I hope you're having a great morning or whatever time of day it is. Uh, I'm out here right now, Monday morning. My name is James and this is our first Monday update for the Escape of the Beyond series. So I'm still kind of playing with the format of how I'm going to work this, but uh, basically what I'm going to do here is give you the daily update, uh, what I'm trying to achieve this week, uh, what things I'm trying to get going. So as you can see right now, I'm in the video. Uh, I'm out brush hog in a field right now, so I'm, I'm working a 9 to 5, 40 hour a week job right now. But uh, as I'm going to constantly stress throughout this series, I'm thinking of what I can do for my side hustles, for my businesses, uh, to make those take off and grow bigger and better, and I'll eventually turn that into a career. Uh, of course, I have my headset on uh, so I can hear. I got audio books always rolling in the headset always trying to learn um, and just better myself but uh, anyway so that's basically the point of this series is I'm gonna try and document uh, the climb to success that I, I have a very strong feeling that I'm gonna achieve so basically today um, we got a lot of stuff going on uh, with popcorn with coffee with real estate uh, so I'm going to tell you basically where my thoughts are at and uh, I'll keep these videos updated as to as to what happens and what progress I make. Uh, so first of all, let's start with real estate because that's kind of top of my mind today. Uh, basically, I've put an offer in on a four unit uh, quadplex. Mind you, I got this down payment. Um, you know, I saved a little bit of money from my nine to five job, but I want to point out here that I got this down payment. Most of it uh, was from popcorn money that I made in my previous year uh, when I started the kettle corn company. I started selling in farmers markets, uh, so at least I've you know already turned that money into something very beneficial for my life. Um, but anyway, so so what I've done today or what I did two days ago was put an offer in on a house. Uh, it's actually a four unit apartment complex. Three of the units are currently rented. Uh, actually four of the units are currently rented. One of them is a month to month. So uh, we're gonna have to hopefully uh, help this tenant move out uh, if we are able to get this property, uh, we being my fiance and I. Uh, so first thing I wanna say, uh, the idea of house hacking. Uh, it's, it's a great idea if you're, uh, you know, if you're frugal, uh, I guess I'll say. Um, house hacking can be a huge benefit to you if you're trying to set yourself up for financial independence like I am. Uh, so basically, I'll give you a quick rundown, uh, but I highly recommend going to biggerpockets.com. Uh, that's where I learned basically everything that I know about investment real estate. And uh, they give it to you in a, in a really consumable format. Uh, it's easy to learn, uh, easy to understand the principles. Um, and I also want to go a little bit into uh, getting a real estate license at some point because that was also an extremely obtainable goal if you're willing to put the time in. And uh, you don't need to be, you know, crazy intelligent or anything like that. That's another thing I really want to stress. Everything you see me do, it's not like I've done anything groundbreaking here. Uh, you know, these are simple side hustles where the math adds up that you're gonna make money if you do it properly. These aren't anything complex. We're not doing rocket science here. Uh, we're just taking slow bites out of a huge pie, right? Uh, and so anyway, uh, so what we've done is, like I said, we put this offer on a four bedroom or a four unit apartment complex. Uh, each unit is two bedroom, one bath. My fiance, my fiance and I will live in uh, one of the units, a lower floor unit that also has a basement. Um, and so basically what we did is, uh, currently the market is crazy hot right now. Uh, my real estate agent has been telling us that everything, you know, is going for over what, what the asking price is. And um, so we found this property. It had actually been on the market for a while uh, because it's classified as an investment property. But there's a loophole that I learned on Bigger Pockets, which is uh, up to four units, you can use a FHA loan, which is 3.5% down. And uh, I believe most people are trying to purchase this property uh, as an investment property 
which means they would have to pay 20 to 25 percent down. So uh, the math on that ends up to be about $75,000 that would have to be a down payment on this particular property if I was to buy this investment. Uh, I'm going to hopefully be able to get into this property uh, for about $8,400, uh, at least down payment wise. Obviously, there'll be closing costs and uh, maintenance costs involved. But, but so the beauty of this whole thing is that we there, there's tenants in there actively right now and uh, that total their three rents uh, because the fourth rent I won't uh, will be my unit and I won't be paying rent hopefully um, but total those three rents and I'm going to be making about $2,400 a month the mortgage is going to break down to be about $1,500 a month so these are all rough numbers but I'm, I'm pretty close on it now and what I try to do is, you know, as far as my actual expense numbers, I try to inflate those a little bit uh, just to prepare for the worst. Um, expect the best, right? But prepare for the worst. So the mortgage would be about $1,500. I would, in theory, be making uh, $2,500 of rental income off of these uh, properties. So uh, I should be cash flowing about $1,000. Uh, the tenants will be paying for utilities minus oil. Um, and then there's obviously regular maintenance and upkeep. And uh, the biggest the biggest challenge is going to be being a landlord. So that will be a brand new experience. Um, but, you know, I just want to point out, you know, for, for those of you who are millennials like myself, uh, you know, I, especially in, in lower paying jobs like this in the area I'm at, uh, it's really hard to find a property that I can actually afford to buy. And when I do find those properties, uh, you know, it's a single family home, it's somewhat in disrepair. Um, and right now, the way the market is, it's a huge gamble to even buy a single family home. Uh, because, you know, I'm no expert, but it does seem like we're getting close to some type of a market, uh, you know, I don't want to say collapse, but uh, kind of a readjustment of market prices because we, uh, the market's been so high for a while. Um, so really, uh, buying a property like this, where you're also getting additional income, income excuse me, off the property, uh, is a really good idea uh, in, in these kind of market conditions, and just always in general, right? Um, but I will say, one of the bigger hurdles uh, was actually convincing my girlfriend that this was a good idea, and, uh, and convincing her that we need to sacrifice a little bit of our personal comfort in order to get to that next level of financial independence that uh, you know we both crave so badly, uh, but definitely a tough sell. Uh, getting her to agree to want to live in a you know two unit apartment or excuse me two bedroom apartment, um, you know, and there's other personal issues that I don't need to get into um, as far as you know with our pets and everything like that. Uh, but the long and short is, it wasn't an easy sell, and I had to. Uh, continually touch on the fact that our goal is financial independence. Our goal is to have these side hustles, uh, you know, turn into something big so that we don't be you know, required to work for somebody and uh, we can go pursue our passions, raise a family, and do what we want to do. So, uh, for, for the real estate update today, basically we're just waiting to hear if this offer gets accepted or not. We put in, uh, we're 20000 under what the asking price was, and he had recently just lowered his asking price uh, by $25,000 because the property had been on the market for roughly 200 days, which uh, is a little bit a little bit skeptical of that because uh, things have been selling very fast around here. But again, I believe it's because people are trying to you know look at it as an investment property and put uh, you know the 20 to 25 percent down. So as far as real estate goes, basically we're just kind of in limbo. We're just waiting right now. Uh, of course, I'm still listening to uh, you know bigger pockets. I'm listening to books on being a landlord. I'm, I'm getting some knowledge. So so if this does play out in our favor on this particular deal. Uh, then at least I'll have a little bit of background knowledge. And you'll see with most of the things that I do, uh, I'm willing to jump in simply because I trust myself so much. I'm willing to jump into these projects and take these tasks on, knowing that I can find the information I need. Um, there's people that are probably, you know, doing this all over the place. At some point, everybody had to start somewhere, right? And they had no idea what they're doing. Uh, 
I, I would consider myself just more willing to be in the type of situation where I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, let people know, hey, I have no idea what I'm doing and I'm learning. And I've found that uh, for the most part, a lot of people are willing to kind of take you under their wing or, or a good bit more understanding with you. If you're just upfront and honest and you say, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. This is my first try. I'm going to give it my absolute best that I can. Um, you know, but I can't promise anything great. So, so that's kind of the mentality that I go with a lot of these side hustles and, uh, and entrepreneurship with. Um, but so yeah, that, that's the update for the real estate. Um, as far as popcorn goes, so basically, I have uh, the market season started again. I, I've got one market that has started up. Um, and I'll be doing a total you know, between three and four uh, farmers markets uh, weekly once the once the season's in full swing. And then I also have wholesale customers um, in the form of orchards. And I'm always seeking new wholesale customers because what I've already found is my wholesale business really is the best because uh, you know it doesn't it doesn't require my time past popping the popcorn and bagging it. And delivering to the wholesale place it doesn't require me to actually be on site to sell my product uh, so just from a time perspective and with the amount of things I have going on uh, wholesale is really what I'm trying to dive deeper into um, so I'm working towards that and uh, so with popcorn today um, I'm, I'm realizing quickly that I'm gonna have to be, you know, have a much better online presence. I actually, I did a live stream the other day, and I got, you know, something like 120,000 viewers on a live stream of me just popping, popping, in. and uh, it really made me realize that I am absolutely going to have to get better with my online presence, and uh, you know, the way that I'm doing things. If I really want to make this work, uh, my website needs to get much better. So that's one of my goals today. Uh, I'm going to start reaching out to my connections, uh, people that I think can help me with the website. If I can't find somebody to help me with the website, um, then I'm going to have to resort to Upwork, uh, which is an awesome network. I've used that a few times uh, to bring in people where I, you know, where I needed help. And I know I could find somebody on Upwork, but I'd, I'd much rather use somebody that I have a personal relationship with. Uh, so also, from a standpoint of advertising, which I know I'm going to need to do, uh, you know, creating event ads, uh, creating videos and promos and that type of stuff, and uh, venture into the paid ad side of things, which I'll be doing this year. Uh, basically, I need somebody that can do video production and do quality video production. So what I've done is uh, another friend of mine uh, who I went to school with a long time ago and uh, has done a few things with him in the past. Um, I reached out to him and I'm going to get a price so I at least know uh, ballpark what I need to save in order to get my you know, first ads produced for the company and uh, that'll kind of give me an idea of uh, you know when to reach back out to him and uh, in the meantime I'll be thinking of you know kind of the format for my ad what I'm actually going to say in the ad uh, who I want to be involved with the process uh, and things like that. Um, as far as the coffee company goes, so again, uh, if you haven't seen the introduction video, I, I gave you a rundown of all the businesses that I'm currently working in, and uh, I'm sure that will change and expand as, as videos go on, and I'm sure there's some I've forgotten. But let's talk about the coffee company that we're going to be selling uh, coffee at the farmer's market here. Um, so I want to talk about what I'm going to do here today. Sorry, I'm not. Uh, running over a decent sized tree here has to be careful um, but so with coffee today I mean I'm, I'm very uh, you know similar thing that I need to do uh, with the popcorn company which is reach out and figure out about advertising um, and you know how I can actually get those produced the other thing I need to do is I'm getting ready to sell at a farmer's market uh, coffee in roughly about a month actually a little under a month Probably like two weeks when I really think about what date it is and when I have to start this. Uh, I still don't have the equipment that I need. I've got the permits. That took a good while. Um, but I still need a generator. I still need cups. I still need to name the flavors that I'm going to get private labeled by a roaster. 
Um, I still need a lot of things that are not in place yet. I still need to figure out uh, how I'm going to get a reliable water source at the farmer's market to actually brew this coffee. Um, so basically, that's that's a lot to bite off in a day. Um, and, but but basically, what my goal is with the coffee is to order some supplies today um, with the small bit of money that I have left over from last popcorn season. Like I said, I used a good portion of it uh, as a down payment, and uh, you know I have about fourteen hundred dollars left in the uh, in the popcorn account, and that's going to be spread out over uh, buying both popcorn materials and uh, getting this coffee company off the ground and running. Uh, so basically, I'm going to start ordering supplies for the coffee company today. Uh, with the digital marketing side of things, I have a meeting. Uh, I've brought in uh, the company that I used to own uh, that I spoke of. You know, uh, it was a freight logistics company. And I'm um, having a meeting with... Uh, with the owner of that company uh, that I founded along with him and uh, bringing him in to talk to the digital marketing company that I work for and we're going to get him uh, some paid advertising and that type of stuff. Now again, you see that I'm, uh, you know, I've brought him in here and I'm going to work on that project uh, but at the end of the day, my goal off of that is to learn on somebody else's dollar, right? So he's going to be paying for the paid advertise, uh, paid advertisements. I'm essentially working as an intern for a digital marketing company. And uh, all I've said to, to the owner of that digital marketing company, he brought me into the sales uh, capacity. And all I'm going to say basically is, uh, you know, just let me be a part of this process. Let me kind of watch and learn how you do this. So hopefully, uh, not only can I do it for his customers later on down the road, but I'll also, uh, you know, the biggest part is I, I want to be able to do it for myself and my own business. Um, so, you know, you might not get paid for every single thing that you do and undertake, uh, but I want you to know that, you know, starting off right off the bat, that's okay. You know, you, you may not be getting paid uh, in the form of money, but a lot of times you'll get paid in the form of these, you know, awesome experiences and knowledge that you would have never got before. Uh, so it's important to put yourself out there and, you know, just if you're given an opportunity, unless there's some extremely huge glaring reason why you can't. So many people say they don't have time for things. Uh, I just don't buy it. You know, you don't want to have time for it, basically. I, I mean, I understand I don't have kids. Uh, I know a lot will change when kids are involved. But I still believe with a lot of things, uh, time is the biggest excuse that anyone ever uses on the planet and it's extremely constant. People always say, I don't have the time for this, I don't have the time for that. Uh, and you know, a lot of these things will take, you know, half an hour a day to start building good habits and it takes a small percentage of your time uh, to learn and, and really just try and grow as a person. And as you grow and learn, you'll, you know, it'll just get easier and easier as I've found. Uh, you know, I've been working on, on growing myself and my side hustles, uh, my mentality, and uh, just just becoming, you know, basically the best me I can be, right? It's cliche, but, uh, you know, but it's all been a slow process. It's all like, uh, I think of it as like carving a canyon, right? Uh, I'm just a river that's flowing down carving a canyon, but it's going to take a long time for everything to get deep and wide and for that river to flow with as much water as it needs to flow. I have to have a deep canyon. Uh, so that's kind of a lame metaphor, but that's what we're going to go with today. So, um, so we covered real estate, we covered popcorn, we covered coffee. Um, there's some other real estate dealings that I'm going to try and jump into today. Uh, Two of the people that I used to work for uh, own a vacation property that they're looking to get rid of. I want to pitch to them, uh, potentially being a landlord for that property, trying to get um, into that deal and just have them hold the property as opposed to selling the property um, and see if I can get a piece of that deal um, for helping them and being a landlord. Um, 
So the the other thing that I'll go into briefly here is um, the small uh, farmers market store that is starting up. Uh, we should be starting a lease for that um, basically the same time my farmers market starts. Uh, so the storefront we should be starting that roughly you know early spring, which is in about two weeks, two three weeks. Um, so. Uh, what I need to do for that is I need to find two other businesses uh, that need to go in there, or that will go in there. And uh, again, I am gonna—I've worked a deal so that I get to be the property manager of the entire uh, space that's there. My business, uh, me and my business partner, are only renting out a third of the space to put the farmers market in. Um, so what we need to do is find complementary businesses. And, uh, you know, just literally by asking um, if we could manage the entire property uh, and, and the owner of the property luckily uh, decided to agree to that and go with the deal. So now what we really need is two businesses that, that uh, you know, complement ours and that are willing to pay the amount of rent that, uh, that I need to be able to rent the entire space. Now the goal is to you know make a little bit on the top property management is not free um, but again i'm always willing to put time uh towards something that i think is going to earn me additional income down the road so i do believe this is one of those type of endeavors that's gonna uh, bring me some additional income so i'm willing to put my time if i can't get the income to rise too far above uh what he's asking me right now i'm okay with that uh, simply because I, I have faith that, um, that this is going to work out in my favor uh, moving forward. So that's about the Monday update today. Um, I'm just going to be brush on it for another couple hours here. And uh, as soon as I'm done with that, I'm going to go home. I'm going to get on that meeting. And uh, I'm not sure when I'll come back with the next update as to how this has gone. Um, but again, I just want to document uh, the actual steps I'm taking on you know, roughly a day-to-day -day basis uh, in order to make these side hustles work and, and basically what the grind really has to be um, in order to get this done. And you'll see a lot of times I'm going to say, like, hey, I'm going to hit up my buddy about this. Uh, you don't necessarily need you know, connections in all these industries and friends doing all this stuff. You can certainly find all the people that I have access to. Uh, now, relationship building is key. That's, that's uh, you know, one of the biggest strategies. I won't even call it a strategy because it's just my personality. Um, but it has worked extremely well throughout the years for me. Uh, just being a trustworthy, friendly, easygoing type of guy. Um, I've built a lot of trust. I've built a lot of really good relationships with a huge variety of people. And, uh, you know, I think that comes from having genuine interest in people and learning what they do and how they do it. Um, so that's going to be the update for the day. I hope whenever you're watching this, you've had a wonderful day. I hope I can give you some motivation to get out there on your hustle, and your grind. Um, you know, let me know what you're doing. Let me know how it's going any way I can possibly help. I'm more than happy to. Um, but anyway, again, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Just keep on grinding out there. Keep on hustling. And uh, we'll get our financial independence. We'll get our freedom. Just keep on fighting and uh, we'll get there. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you my journey. Uh, I'd love to hear more about yours.